Korea is adding insult to injury for islands hit hard by Hurricane Irma just over a week ago. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is here now with more on how they're coping and they're preparing, Elliot, for another major hurricane. Ruta Bay and Rick, those poor people, the Caribbean is bracing for Hurricane Maria. While many of the islands are still numb from the impact of Irma a little more than a week ago, some of these islands are without power and many other basic necessities as they prepare as best they can for a storm that's now a Category 4. Puerto Rico escaped a direct hit from Hurricane Irma last week, but the storm still knocked out power to about 70% of the island. Nearly 2,000 U.S. citizens who live or were vacationing in the U.S. Virgin Islands were evacuated to Puerto Rico following Irma, including more than 500 who arrived by cruise ship last Thursday. And today, Puerto Rico will receive more visitors in the form of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue's Florida Task Force One being sent to San Juan in anticipation of Hurricane Maria. Across the Caribbean, many of the islands in the path of Maria look like this. Tortola in the British Virgin Islands is still covered in rubble and debris. When you get to the bottom, you have nowhere to go but up, but it's one board, one stick, one log, one break at a time. We have yet another hurricane forecast to hit um, the British Virgin Islands. Sir Richard Branson, whose island home was badly damaged by Irma, has been raising money and awareness for the battered British territory. He says rebuilding will be a massive task, but right now the focus is on the immediate threat of Hurricane Maria. Everyone's been rallying around um, trying to, uh, you know, trying to create some kind of shelter if and when the next hurricane comes, um, you know, they, they are protected. This cell phone video of dark skies and rough seas off St. Lucia is a sign the next storm is now looming offshore. Now, in Puerto Rico, about 70% of the island lost power during the storm, and Irma went nearly 100 miles to the north of Puerto Rico. Many wonder what a direct hit from Maria would do. Let's hope it doesn't. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.